Hey, this is Steve. Uh, first of all, excuse the mess. I've been going crazy on this stuff. Uh, I still ain't figured out how to pronounce it, if it's Digcom or Digcom. Anyway, let's look at these products a little bit better. When you get your PDF file and you run them off, use photo paper, matte finish. It's, it works excellent for this, okay? Now, as you can see, this one here is the Pacer Stack. And it's given me two double stack units, single wide, okay? Now, we'll take these things and we'll cut them out. And when you cut them out, you'll get double stack like this, okay? And they're very simple to do after you score all the lines and everything. I mean, all you have to do is, is take it like this and, and fold it back in. When you put your glue on it, it, it works real well. And I, I'm doing this without glue so you can see just how easy it really is, okay? I swear you need three hands when, with no glue, but daggone it, we're going to accomplish it. Okay, there we go. Nice. And, and, and the one beside it will come reversed. So you get two different versions here, okay? So, but this, this, is, this is the way you fold them. I mean, it's really awesome. It don't take that long. It takes longer to cut them out than it does anything else. But as you can see, we've got Crawley, and we've got Costco. We've got K-Lines here. Got the hub group. Oh, gotta love that green hub group. And uh, as you can see, we got the red hub group. Okay. And we got more pacer stacks, the new, the new logo on it. Like so, okay. So, but now here, I wanna, I wanna go ahead and show you something here. And I'm gonna use these white UPS. Now this is a three by three stack that you can get. As you can see, it comes in two pieces, but you'll get three across, three up, okay? And this is also the ones that you can change for different road names. I mean, you can, you can get uh, Schneider, JB, CSX, Swift, JB, CSX, Schneider, whoever, whatever, and mix them up. And it'd be great in your intermodal yard. I mean... But let's, let's look at this weathering these things, okay? Oops, sorry about that. Okay, let's, uh, let's go with a little brown here. Now, I'm just using a soft brush. I'm using Jackson Paint Assorted Soft Pastels, and I just scrape them off onto paper towel or whatever I want to scrape them off on. Now, I got this 48 different colored pastels for $6.99 at uh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let's just, let's just go ahead and piddle here for a minute. I mean, it don't take much of this. Okay, there's a little bit of brown on that one right there. Now we're going to do this other, which is going to represent a little bit of Georgia red clay mud. See what we get with it. I mean, you know, you don't need much weathering on this stuff. Let's just go ahead and sneak up here and do the top also. A little brown in there, make it look good, make a little pressure here. Okay, now that don't look bad. If you get too much on there, just wipe a little bit off. Put a little different color on there, you can blend it right out. But let's see if I can, let me turn my light here a little bit better. There we go. Can you see that? Can you see where I put the colors at on there? We've got a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. That's all it takes for, for detailing these things out. I mean, how much you want to pay the artist is how talented you are. Okay, so now we did that. Now, we're going to notice on some of these containers, when you fold them, you're going to have the white line here. You know, that's no big deal. We can take a little bit of this Georgia red clay mud here, and we can just put right in there. And that just about wipes that line completely out. And depending on how you cut these things as to how big a white line you're going to get or if you're even going to get a white line, I'm scoring them on the outside because I like more of a square fold than anything else. See, I just disappeared half of that. Okay? So, now, when you get done doing your pastels, 
if you want to, you can just leave them like they are. They're not going to rub off. I mean, it's in paper. But if you want to, you can take the tester's dull coat and spray over top of them. And it's just going to give you a, like a light, faded, dusty look if you just spray it lightly. And it's going to preserve your colors. It will not bleed into the, into the uh, photo paper. Okay. That's just an idea on that right there. Uh, let me move my light again. And then I want to uh, show you some products here. Okay, bear with me. And look over the mess, please. Okay, I'm having to do this from way up above me. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on them two SD50s there. Okay, that'll be good. Alright, now... First thing we're going to come to is NFIs. Don't they look great? Now that's just standard double stack pack. Just like so. The detail is awesome. Where's the camera at? There it is. The detail is awesome. Okay. Now, while it's on my mind, let me let me point this out to you. Sometimes you'll do these things and you'll get a little puffy side on there. Don't worry about that puffy side. I've seen thousands of containers that they've overloaded or crammed so packed the sides are, are puffy. And uh, sometimes damaged ones are like that. Okay, so we got the NFIs. Next one we're going to is the AXSUN, Oxsun. Now that's them new ones that have just came out on the rails. They are beautiful. Same way, this is a double stack. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. I gotta love them. Gotta have some of them. I ain't seen them yet, but I gotta have some. And then we're gonna go on down here and we got the uh, Pacer, both styles, the new and older. Then we got uh, Swift. Now, if you look at that Swift one right there, let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit. That is a factory uh, weather that's on it. Now, where's camera at? Okay. Yep. It's hard to do. I need a cameraman. But yeah, this this is a factory weather, okay? But now I want to show you something else. You can go on uh, Digicom Facebook and look down through there and you'll see uh, some 3x3 uh, three three stacks. 40 footers and then underneath it it's got free samples which is what this is okay but now if you notice it don't bother it one bit to sit on that train right there and that free sample will work in the yard too plus to give you one to work with to, to to give it a shot okay so now let's just go ahead and move the train forward there's our jb's and then we'll go on back back here to the EMPs. Awesome. I, I really love these things. And uh, believe me, guys, I'm not bragging, but I've got over 800 plastic containers. And it's all I can do to hold on to them. I'm thinking very seriously about selling them things. Uh, if I do, just watch eBay. But, <laughs> but anyway, that's the, that's the containers from Digcom. And uh, we showed you a little bit about the weather in there. And uh, I think y'all enjoy them if you just give them a try. But like I said, folding them ain't no big deal. We can, we can take a big one here and we can fold it too. I mean, it's just, it's just so simple and so easy to work with. And what's, and what's so good about it is you don't have to wait for these guys to come out with them for a year and two years down the road. My George, you can order them this week. They'll be in your hands next week. And then you can put them on the train day after that. All right. Well, hopefully this gives you all something to watch. All right. We'll see you all later. Bye.